It is only a few persons alive today that have witnessed an event of this magnitude in the Kwarafa Kingdom as it was more than 40 years ago that the immediate predecessor of the current Akuka, Dr. Shakaru Angu Masa Ibi, Kuvion II of blessed memory, was presented with staff of office. <laughs> Various dances, colorful attires of the Jukun people, masquerades and gun salutes rented the air to the admiration of the guests. State Chief Judge Justice Philippus Ade Turu administered the oath of office and that of allegiance to the Akuka, His Royal Majesty. Manu Ishaku Adali Amataki Twen. I will cherish, I will cherish in my heart, in my heart, no treasury, no treasure of this loyal or loyalty. I will rule my people. I will rule my people with justice, with justice. High point of the day was a presentation of staff of office by Governor Darius Dixon Ishaku to the paramount ruler. <laughs> Governor Ishaku called on the monarch to follow in the footsteps of his predecessor and ensure that peace reigns in his domain to bring about development. Being the chairman of Taraba Council of Traditional Rulers and all new stats that demand that the royal father are not only united but still with one voice on issues that concern their roles as custodians of the cherished rich cultural values of our traditions. Governor Simon Lalong of Plateau State, who also is of the Kwarafa extraction, advised the monarch to carry his subjects along and ensure justice and fairness at all times. Today, this history and majesty still resonate because the culture, tradition, and influence of the kingdom through its illustrious sons and daughters are still felt across the country and beyond. That is why we in Plateau State cherish and respect the consistent friendship that exists between us in addition to our historical ties. Former Defense Minister General Theophilus Yakubu Danjuma, who bears the title of Abonta of Ukari, said, Security is not a task which should be left to government alone, and advised Nigerians to be watchful of their environment. We are all sitting ducks. These people are armed to the teeth. All the weapons of mass destruction. They are trying to recolonize us and take over our land. Your Majesty, you must then unite our people. While commending Governor Ishaku for all he has done in repositioning the traditional institution in Taraba State, the Permanent Secretary, Bureau for Local Government and Chieftaincy Affairs, Belo Yero, urged the Akuka to work closely with other traditional rulers to achieve success. Sultan of Sokoto, His Eminence Al Haji Muhammadu Saad Abubakar, while congratulating the Akuka, urged Nigerians, particularly the youths, to be peaceful before, during, and after the 2023 general elections. We are your total commitment to your effort to make not only Yukon or Karaba State peaceful and just, but the rest of humanity. We will work with you. We will support you, Inshallah. The Akuka appreciated all who graced the occasion and pledged to collaborate with other monarchs and government to ensure peace and progress of Taraba State and Nigeria at large. I will, by the grace of God, do all I can.
hand to ensure the reversal of such unfortunate development so that our language and culture will not die but grow stronger and stronger. His Royal Majesty Manu Ishaku Ada Ali also doubles as the chairman, Taraba State Council of Traditional Rulers.